Okay, what's good nerds? As you can see, this is a little bit of a different video because I'm in sandbox. But I felt there's some um there's some interesting things we need to talk about regarding the, the new weapons. You, you know, the uh, the old shotgun, the uh, the jump starter, not this thing. This this thing, honestly, this thing's balanced. This, this thing, I mean, okay. It's not balanced, but it's got some jank that I'm going to talk about. But uh, yeah, the alt shotgun and the jump starter have some interesting things about them. Uh, let's start off with the alt shotgun uh, first. Actually, it would help if I. Okay, that was the wrong button. It would help if I uh, put on this thing's health bar and got some distance, right? So if I may, just run up to this thing. Yeah, that's um. Yeah, that's fair for a sing for a single hit of damage. You know, we we took down a Cerberus to enough health to where it ju it just dies to getting feedbacked, which is a little bit strong. But you might be saying, you know, that is that's the jump starter at its maximum power. You know, like it's one hundred percent strongest strongest it will be. So it can't possibly, you know, what if we... What if we just do normal, normal, normal one? Yeah, that's a little bit, um... That's a bit strong. You know what, for reference, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pull out, you know, electric rail cannon, and, uh... No, pull out over pumping electric rail cannon for some... For some comparison, right? So we've got Cerberus number two here. Yeah, it's not even close. You know, I, I could probably rocket this and it will still have... Okay, never mind, I lied. That was just a complete lie. But I also want to lo look at the uh, the overpump damage. Because, you know, as we know, overpump is... God damn it. Overpump is a very strong... part of V1's arsenal. But it doesn't even, it, you know... It doesn't even come close to the normal default jackhammer, like... Of course, you know, if you're just walking up and punching it, it's, it's not that good. But, uh... I, I'm, I'm not used to this weapon, so if the gameplay is bad, it's not my fault. But yeah, it's, um... It's a bit strong. It's a, it's a, it's a little bit strong. Another thing is with the conductor, right? You know, we we like this weapon. It's um, it's funny. You know, you might have noticed that it's. If we get a bunch of filth about, it's pretty. It's pretty good, right? Like, like it's it's pretty good. It's pretty strong. I give it like a solid, like a seven out of ten, right? But it's balanced out by the fact that if you have a bunch of like stronger enemies. You know, it, it's it's much weaker. Like it's much. Well, okay. Sorry, my bad. I forgot how loud that would be. But yeah, it's balanced out by the fact that it's significantly weaker. But um, I saw some tech. I don't know how you do it, frankly. But with the with the jump starter, you can take say flash panopticon. And there is a way to one-shot it using the jump start. I don't know how, frankly. I, I don't know. I think I saw it something with the whiplash, but... Something with... I don't know, frankly. It was a bit, uh... It's a bit weird. I'll put a clip of it. Right, I'll, I'll put on a clip on screen right now. And also, I'll put on a clip of it one-shotting Sisyphus Prime. Because as we all know, that's... That's balanced. That, 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 that's fair, that's balanced. That's it. 
Also, you know, another thing. This time, we got, this time, you know, we're targeting... We're targeting the chainsaw. Uh, if you can build up enough chainsaws and get them to, uh, you know, because if you didn't know, you can launch... If I turn on no weapon cooldown, you can launch multiple chainsaws, right? If you didn't have no weapon cooldown, you would just have to parry them for a long time. But if you can build up multiple chainsaws, um, I have seen people three shot the Panopticon using nothing but chainsaws and just parrying them at the Panopticon. Three shot it. Which is, frankly, insane. But, um, you know, another thing with the shotgun is apparently it can just get stuck to Gabriel. Although I don't know how. Frankly, I don't know how it gets stuck to Gabriel. But it seems to be a common issue that people are reporting. Where they'll, sh well, they'll, they'll uh, saw, you know, they'll saw Gabriel. And... You know, once they keep holding down the button, Gabriel will keep on getting sword, no matter how far away they go. Which, again, you know, obviously a bug. Obviously, that's a bug. It's a little bit powerful, though. Just, uh, just thinking, it's a slightly powerful bug. Another thing is, yeah, core cores shoot out by uh, the jackhammer retain the velocity of, of V1. I don't have... If I had my, um, Militious Rail Cannon, which, you know, I'm gonna go grab right now. Rail Cannon, give me that. I can launch... Launch one of these. Uh, get hit by the invisible wall, because I suck at the game. Let me just get rid of them. I need to download that mod that just gets rid of the wall by default. But yeah, I can just start launching these and they will be flying incredibly quickly. I mean, those are gone, right? Hang on, let me just... This is a... Uh, yeah. So, you know, the, the malicious... the malicious rail cannon... You can now call on you... I think you can now core nuke while core nuking, which is, um... Hilarious. I, don't, I haven't tried it. Let me... Let me try this. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get rid of, like, all of my weapons to make this easier. Because I, I haven't done this. We're, we're learning this together. You and me. Get out of here. Yeah, both of you. Out of here as well. Don't need you. I haven't... I haven't tried this, but, you know... Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can do this. Which is, frankly, uh, hilarious. I think this is going to have some very interesting use for speedrunning. Oh, great corn nuke. Really, 10 out of 10 corn nuke. But, yeah. That's, um, that's pretty good, if you ask me, right? Like, like that's pretty good. I thought Gabriel's just, he's just chilling. I have already said, you know, my opinions on the jackhammer are that I am not a huge fan, right? I prefer the shotgun to the jackhammer. However, I completely understand and realize how powerful this thing is. I mean, again, let's let's put a gutter man. Right, we'll, we'll give it we'll give it a health bar. Just a normal run of the mill gutter man. Nothing special about this guy. Bang! Its shield is gone, 
and half of its health is gone, which means you can probably... If, with the, with a punch, you can probably two-shot this thing. Okay, I missed my punch, but you can definitely do that. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, during the hit scan, the hit stop, you can, uh... You can punch. If I time it. If I time it correctly. Yeah, you, you can, uh, you can punch during the hit stop, which I don't think is... Intended. I, I don't think it's intended. I love that one. Also, I just want to do a, a quick comparison of the knockback from this thing compared to a core nuke, because I think that this might be, you know, comparable. Okay, maybe not. But it's very close. Like, the, the knockback from this thing is crazy. I wonder if it's any more any more from this. I guess we'll quickly find out. Not if I'm stupid and forget to hold the button down. As I said, I'm still I'm still learning how to use this weapon. I keep forgetting that you gotta you gotta hold the button down and then release it. Oh that's interesting. That actually That actually has a shorter knockback. I wonder if this has more. Now that's actually got a smaller knockback. That's kind of interesting. But I am um, no less, you know, no less. If we just hit, you know, V two, we love lovely V two. Our favourite little little robot. Yeah, you can two shot V two. Yeah, he's gone. V two is dead. Two shots. And of course, you know, I'm 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 putting in all this emphasis on on the jackhammer because it's so easy to use. But don't forget that this thing not not this thing, right? I I okay. I think I was I was alongside everyone when I expected this version of the jump starter to actually be better than the sword blade launcher, right? I think everyone anticipated this. Everyone thought that this version of the weapon would be stronger than the sword blade launcher. Uh, until people got their hands on the Swordblade Launcher and discovered, no, no, we were wrong, because not only, right, with the nail gun, it does a lot, it does far less damage. So with the Swordblade Launcher, you can just, you know, you can just kill things like that, right? You know, like like they're dead, boom. And with the nail gun, it takes far longer. If we go, if we pull the soldier back, it takes a lot longer. Okay, that wasn't exactly an ideal showcase, right? Because the soldier, and you might have noticed if you were obs observing, the soldier died faster. But what I'm trying to get at is if you're playing a game, you know, you're moving around, the saw blades are going to kill the soldier faster than the nails. Which means that if you were to say, oh, I don't know, go underwater, perhaps, spawn in... A bunch of enemies, all underwater. And shoot them! Yeah! Everything is dead. This is, uh, most prominent. I'm gonna put in a, uh, I'm gonna put in a clip now. So the electricity effect they added into the, um, into the game is most prominent here, in 5-1. Look at all these enemies. They're all gone! All because I clicked a button and took 50 damage. All of the enemies are gone, and this virtue is incredibly high damaged. And another thing, you know, if you, if you, if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, if I didn't make that clear enough, let's just go over here. Everything is just gone, other than the enemies which have, you know, significant quantities of HP. Right, because of course, Virtues and Maurice have a lot of health, as we all know. But things like soldiers and strays don't. So they just die. A very brutal and painful death. 
So yeah, that's um that's how the new elec electricity mechanic is kind of busted and broken, but it's only broken on one specific level. So it's really not that bad, but it is very, very strong. A thing that honestly I feel like hasn't seen the love of this update. Because you know, every every new thing that's been added into the game is incredibly strong, incredibly powerful. This thing isn't. Not only does it kind of just look a little bit weird when you're uh, when you're shooting it. Like if if you know if you look here, it just kind of looks a bit off. I mean, like it's it's cool. I like the fact that when you're sliding, you slide faster. However, I can just jump slide, so I don't really see a use for that mechanic. And also, the damage per second, if we bring out our Cerberus, which I have already shown in this update, can literally be almost one shot by yet another weapon. Because of course, you know, you can one shot a Cerberus, as, as, we, as I'm sure we are all very aware, you can take out the SRS cannon, and do that if I didn't miss it the first time. You can one-shot Cerberus with the SRS cannon. But I don't think that's overpowered, because A, the SRS cannon is incredibly niche, and B, it's got a really long cooldown on when you can do it again. So that's why I think that the SRS cannon isn't overpowered, whereas the alternate shotgun may be. But what definitely isn't overpowered is the oil gun. So not only do you have to spend a significant amount of time oiling them up, you then fire the gun. And as you can see from the top bar, it really does not do much damage at all. Like I mean, like look at the amount of time that that took for the Cerberus to take a third of its health? You know, I mean, in that time, I can literally... I can, I can literally punch it to death. In fact, why don't we do a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a test right now. Put on the health bar of you. Put on the health bar of you. And let's pull out... Just the chainsaw. Just the normal chainsaw. This Cerberus we're going to oil up. You know, it's even going to have all the head start of oiling it up, pre-oiled. And then we shoot it. And then the chainsaw. It's not even close. Now, I think that, considering just how strong... Just considering just how strong these new variants are, the fire starter is incredibly underwhelming. I mean, like, the only use case I have seen for this weapon so far is literally just making the spawn doors bug out. Which is very funny, admittedly, but obviously it's going to be patched. Whereas something like the chainsaw, which I would argue that the chainsaw feels very balanced, right? Like, the most I've done with the chainsaw is... You know, you know, you know, something like that, right? Not too much damage. Right, like a good amount of damage. But definitely nothing overpowered. I think I think personally chainsaw is balanced. Jumpstart is broken. And the rocket launcher sucks. The alt shotgun also is broken. And alt marksman, which I really haven't talked about feels incredible to use now. Like, it feels absolutely, absolutely incredible to use the alt marksman now, like... This is definitely, definitely a massive change. In fact, I think you can go even faster. Not if I miss the shot like that. But I think, overall, to wrap up this little ramble about all of the weapons in this update being broken. Alt Marksman 
and the sword the sword on shotgun is incredibly good incredibly fun very balanced like the sword on shotgun is you know it's my new number one shotgun right i love this weapon the jump start the normal variant feels pretty good to use when there's a bunch of fodder enemies and the alternate version is broken absolutely bugged should not be able to one shot the panopticon and sisyphus and the fire starter is kind of just a bit depressing but i mean that's all i really have to yap about with the new weapons being broken so uh yeah thanks for watching <laughs>